Hi. 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 <sighs> I wish I could turn the camera around, but I cannot. Grand day. Grand Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Mercury Day. It's a little short video. Speaking about this pink lavender energy that is all around. I'm moved to do this video. A little short video. So, welcome. This very, very violet and pink energy is the Divine Feminine coming through. Sending huge mass. That blue is a lilac. It's a lilac energy. And I learned through the dragon deck that there is a lilac fire dragon. And this is that energy. Divine Feminine. In our stories of the Divine Feminine, in that name is also male, feminine, right? And so in this is also awakening the Divine Feminine and the masculine for the men and awakening even more the Divine Feminine in the women. We, we see ourselves as gender. And yes, without gender, we would not be able to be here. We wouldn't be able to procreate without gender. This is, this is evident in nature. For us humans, if we take the time to look at nature, spend time with the trees, the sky, the air, the sun, we start to see that gender, even in nature, will change so for procreation and for balance this is very important in our westernized society we've defined gender and procreation as specifically having children and truly procreation means create to continue to create and this means music art dance uh, healing the different modalities that we are capable of that's actually what procreation ultimately means because even in nature we see that some animals do not procreate some trees only live a certain amount of time and then they enter back into the earth and we also see that there are different fish that will change their gender um, sometimes after insemination it's just interesting but it just shows what nature is capable of and we are nature uh, something that kind of cracks me up is when people say I don't like nature I don't like the bugs and stuff we are nature. We have bugs all over our bodies. We have bugs on our eyelashes. Little tiny microorganisms that function all together. Now, back to the violet and pink energy. And also the green. Green is abundance. That green energy is abundance. So as we invite in the Divine Feminine, who is the Master Creator? Now in this time of inviting in the Divine Feminine, it is, it is important for us as women to stand in our authority. We have been written out of history. We have been written out of our own celebration of each other. And for me, this year and this time is all about the Divine Feminine. Everything is the Divine Feminine. We've been calling her a male name. We've been calling we, or he and she, or neither, or all of us, because we are all miniature reflections of the Divine. So the Divine the grand creator is either the grand creator or the grand we, the grand legion of 
expression that that is throughout the cosmos on so many levels and so within this realm of fourth dimension entering into fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth thirteenth and beyond dimensions we must i must i'm rewriting i'm rewriting i'm going through my copy of the bible and i'm replacing all the lords and gods with lady and goddess and actually in the scripture, as I'm reading it in certain scriptures, specifically Psalms, the Psalms are songs, and also there's a lot of education and hints and codes in Psalms. And so I have coded many things. Um, what I haven't coded is the feminine divine. So I have been replacing those words. And in this, I notice certain things. I'm going to point out three things that I noticed. First is, in some of the sentences, you will see God is, God is. If you say that fast, that's God is, God is. And also, in certain senses, you will see princes is, princes is, princesses. <laughs> And this is just a breakup of the dialogue. And this is part of the massive spelling that's been going on within the religion. Okay, the other thing is, so those are the first two. The third thing is, at the, e at the end of Job, which is the last paragraph, or the last song, um, the last uh, book before Psalms, at the end, it mentions that Job has been rewarded and that he has seven sons and three daughters. It tells you the three daughters' names. It does not tell you the names of the sons. It tells you how, how beautiful Job's daughters are and that they came with a large um, inheritance if someone were to marry them, as well as the sons. But it does not tell us the son's names, only the three daughters. This is affirmation that the Bible, which sounds like Sybil, Sybils are the ancient prophetesses, the indigenous prophetesses. They came from all over the world. They were dark. And, and earthy. This is where we get the names pagan. Also, there are names of places and peoples with those names who were the first to give us holy instruction, holy information, holy intelligence that is so divine and high that words such as male or female did not exist. Words such as war did not exist. Um, violence did not exist. Only procreation and only natural occurrences. So where there was violence, it would be something more along the lines of chaos because you would see it reflected in nature. And this is our grand teacher. We call the earth Mother Earth all the time. We are of the earth. The earth is a giant ship in this giant cosmos of space we're still learning to understand and that includes our own bodies our bodies are a reflection of the universe around us we have multi dimensions multi energy wheels both front and back representing the front and back of all the planets the masculine and the feminine side of all the planets all the planets are divinely feminine with the masculine side because we hear men and feminine. So this is part of this energy, and it's also part of the energy for us to step out and do things that we don't typically do and share messages we may not typically share. Be more open, open-minded, and be ready this year 
for massive information about the divine feminine, about the truth of religion, about the truth of this planet and our own history and our many connections beyond only this planet. We are multifaceted beings. I'm going to turn the camera around this way so you can see some of this color. And hear some trees speak. The trees speak a lot here. Many messages. So this is one of my first videos sharing this information. First of many videos sharing this information. Um, sharing some of my own information about my experiences of coming into the standing firmly in the divine feminine spiritual aspect because of course this includes the masculine this isn't some women take over the world it's just overstanding the balance needed and the history that has been mistaught and misrepresented where us divine females are concerned so if you have more information, thank you for tapping in, jumping on. You have a good day. Much love.